Hello guys, it's MeshTech here and today I can proudly present you how to install BoxArt to your emulation station version on the RG350. So with BoxArt you get um, pictures or previews of your um, ROMs in the games list just for a little uh, explanation of what BoxArt means. And before we start I want to say thank you to Doom Jedi. Um, he's a friend of mine who supported me so well with this subject. Um, I had some trouble setting it up on the RG350 and since he did it before um, for the RetroPie, he supported me so well on Discord and finally um, I, I made it to get it run on the RG350. So yeah, big thanks to you Doom Jedi for your support. Okay. So let's start right ahead. All we're gonna need is just one single um, program that we get on GitHub. I will put you the link into the video description. It's called Universal XML Scraper. And when you go to that site and scroll down just a bit, you will find these two versions. The first one, the regular one, is the 32-bit version and the other one is the 64-bit version. So it depends on your PC architecture with which version you need. If you're not sure if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, system, just go for the regular version. Since I know I'm running on a 64-bit machine, I will download the 64-bit version. So the download is complete. Let's jump right into the download folder. Okay, and there you have the executable. Let's cut it because I recommend you guys putting this into a separate folder. Um, I'm gonna cut it and create a new folder on my desktop. Um, I call it Universal XML Scraper UXS and put the execu executable right in there. And from there we can just start XML Scraper gonna agree to run it okay and for the first time it starts it just takes some time to, to start up okay here we go we're gonna choose English as um, the language so you guys can read on the screen and it's gonna initialize with that language and yeah it automatically starts with the wizard <clears throat> it's gonna guide you through this the whole thing and here we choose recal box as our operating system in the second screen you can choose your visual for the box art I prefer the simple one here so I click on this and yeah, for for the default visual, it asks you um, to choose one of these. Um, I love the 2D covers, so I choose the 2D covers. And as a alternative, if it doesn't find this box out in the internet, um, I prefer this box out. So we almost uh, are through the configuration. Now it asks you where your ROMs are, and we gonna choose that it is locally on our PC. So now it asks us for our ROM folder. Um, I put one on my desktop. It's right there called ROMs. And just confirm this folder. All right. So everything is set up now for Nintendo um, Entertainment Systems. And it asks you if you're registered on the screen screen scraper I am not so I choose no that's okay do you want to register now no I don't want to register do you want to scrape now yes scrape now and now it asks you to select your system since my ROM folder for demonstration just contains some NES ROMs um, it only found the NES folder so I select the NES folder if you had more ROMs in there um, you just have to choose the correct system set select and then we are done. Everything is set up. Universal Screen Scraper is starting. Since this will take a while, 
I'm going to fast forward the video for you and come back when it's done. All right, thanks for being patient. Now we are done. Um, as you can see, it puts a summary result at the end. Um, it found those 24 ROMs in my ROM folder um, and it was able to resolve 100% of the ROMs with images. So we got an image for each of our ROM. That's okay, that's perfect. Now we are done with Universal XML Scraper. We can close it and jump right into our ROMs folder. So this was the folder I created. I put some ROMs in there as I showed you like Contra, Donkey Kong and stuff. And what Universal XML Scraper did for us, it created a subfolder called Downloaded Images. If we jump in there, you will find all your box art pictures for the ROMs you have in your ROMs folder. This is the first thing we're gonna need and it created a games list XML file. So for the RG350 um, running with emulation station, we just need to do some small adaptions to the games list XML file. So just open it up with your desired editor and it refers to a image folder called downloaded images. And we have to rename this. So just rename all appearances of downloaded images to box art. This is the default folder name um, for the emulation station. So I'm just going to replace all of them and save the file. So we can close this. Now we are done. We have the games list XML file and we have our images. So now we're going to connect to the RG350. Going to move this a little to the side. So all we have to do now is to copy the images on our external SD card to following folder. I'm going to show you. It's on the SD card. Mine is called RG350. It has the ROMs folder there and now we did some box art for Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's go in there. And as we just renamed for this system, um, we have the box art folder. Um, since I already did it before, I'm um, just going to overwrite this. So I'm going to copy all of these, put them right into the box art folder. Okay say yes to all all right copied all the box art pictures and the only thing that is missing now is the games list xml file so let's copy it over to the roms folder in your roms folder you have a subfolder for each system and this is where the games list game list xml file needs to be located so let's paste it right in there. Yeah, overwrite it. And that's it. Now you got box art for your NES system. And that's the way to go for all other systems. Just start Universal XML Scraper. Choose your system like NES, PlayStation 1, Game Boy, whatever. And add the box art files, so the pictures itself and the associated game list file to uh, the systems folder and you're done. And now I'm going to show you how it looks on the RG350 in Emulation Station. So here I am in Emulation Station on my RG350. And as you can see, I already have installed a couple of systems. I also have installed Nintendo 64. I might show you a little stuff about that in another video. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Game Gear. Yeah, but we added box art for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's jump right into it. And yeah, as you can see, this is what you get. Um, on the right hand side, you still have your um, games list. And on the left hand side, you have the little box art together with a little description about the ROM itself. Um, 
I think the first entry is um, a rating. So I don't know why Contra only got one star. I would give it five stars. Um, a release date. So the game was released on 2nd of February 1988. The developer and publisher was Konami. The genre is action. It's an action game. Action game. It supports up to two players. And yeah, I think this is the main information you, you get right beside the box art. Um, on the bottom left side, you can see that scrolls a little text that is a little description to the game itself. And now we can scroll through our list um, of games and see that beautiful box art on the left hand side. We got Double Dragon, Kirby's Adventure, the Mega Man series, Nintendo World Cup, North and Daos, Prince of Persia, for sure, Mario Brothers, Turtles, yeah. Okay, I think you guys got an impression. Um, still, I would like to show you the box art in different themes. So let's jump back. Since this is currently my main theme, um, I, I use this one. Let me just correct the brightness a bit. Oh, come on. Okay, you guys can read better on the screen. Um, we go to UI settings and I'm gonna scroll down here to change to another theme. Let's go for the default theme. Let's go back. Okay, now it has loaded the default um, theme. If we now go into the Nintendo system, um, it, it has a a lot better or a better organized um, box art thing. Um, here the scroll list is on the left hand side and the box art is a little bigger on the right hand side. Um, sorry. And it only has this um, small section down here for description. So we're missing the ratings and the publisher. Yeah, let's go back and have a look to another theme. On the emulation station, let's choose um, the pixel theme. Okay, here's pixel theme. And let's jump, oops, jump right into it. Yeah, yeah, this is also very clear and well organized. Um, if we scroll down the list, the box art is pretty huge. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. It's it's much easier to see what game you currently have selected uh, instead of reading. So, so this is box art on the RG350 with Emulation Station. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. I think it's going to be my last video before Christmas or maybe for this year because I'm going to be busy with family and stuff. So... I wish you a Merry Christmas, a good start into the new year, and I hope I see you back in the new year with more videos. Happy gaming, guys. Bye.